Nudakara everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara, I am a proud Kajalika Bulba woman. Um, and this channel is, sorry my dog is like sniffing around my feet, it's very distracting. And this channel is all about sharing indigenous history, perspectives, voices, information, controversies, tough conversations, all the stuff that you probably don't know about what it means to be black in Australia. So in this video, oh it's another like black facts kind of one. Um, I wanted to talk about just how old our culture is here in Australia because I think for many of you may you may not even know that our culture exists. Um, for a lot of Aussies you probably do know and you've heard the figure a lot of times but you don't really have context for just how old that is. So I'm going to give you an idea of how long we have been in this country. So Aboriginal Australians have been in Australia for 60,000 years at least. There's also uh, new things being uncovered all the time that puts the date up to like 80,000 years old. I'm not sure if these findings have been verified yet but they did find like a clay oven in Victoria I think that dated further back but they're still kind of testing and sussing that out. So I'm going to stick with the 60,000 year mark for this video knowing that likely we're older. So let's count up, shall we? I think that most people are like, if you say, what's the oldest civilization you can think of? The average Joe will probably be like, Egypt, those guys seem old, right? Egypt is roughly 5,000 years old. Five, it's a baby. Some of you are probably like, okay, in that case, Greece, gotcha. Greece is 2,000 years old. So moving back to maybe things like, oh, I don't know, what about Mesopotamia and like Sumeria and all that kind of time of stuff, those fellas were pretty old too. That dates back to around about eight or 9,000 years old. Let's just say 10 to be happy. For all of you American people out there going like, oh, got it, we crushed it. Having people over here, hella old. 15,000 years old. And I would like to point out that that's when you guys had people on your continent. Let's say 16 to be nice. So before the Americas had human beings, Aboriginal people had been in Australia for 40,000 years. So now let's backtrack a little bit to some of the more obvious ones. The people who seem to rule our life for some apparent reason. Europe. Europe, again being kind, was populated roughly 50,000 years ago. We'd still been here for at least 15,000 years by that point, before there were human beings, at least homo sapiens, in Europe. So before the majority of the world was populated, we were here. I'm going to throw up like a, a quick map that is of kind of patterns of immigration, at least as they've kind of mapped recently. There's still a lot of research being done all the time. But this is kind of what it looks like for Homo sapiens. Came out of Africa, moved across Asia, came down to where we are. So before any of that top half of the map was populated, we were chilling around here. And again, I kind of want to point out the crazy amount of time that that was. You would have to add together the amount of time that human beings had been in the US plus the amount of time that human beings had been in Europe before you get the amount of time that we have been here. And I think here in Australia we really undervalue how old our culture is and the fact that it's still here. We still have people speaking their language, we still have people practicing their culture, we still have people here. You don't have to read about us in books and make assumptions because you can go to communities and find people and learn about us from us. Because we didn't go anywhere. That is like amazing and it's something we should be so dang proud of. 65,000 years is nothing to sniff at. And again, this is just like the estimates that are safe at the moment. I think that so many people hear the figure, don't really understand what that means, but also that people assume that somehow our culture here isn't important or like valued. It's very strange to me because again, so many people here 
in Australia, I'm talking specifically about Australia, will go into museums and be like, wow, that is amazing. Look at that 5,000 year old vase. Wow. And you're like, 65,000 years in your own country and you've probably never met an Aboriginal person or spoken to them. But you can, because we have such an ancient, continuing culture. That's amazing. I am so proud to be part of this culture. I am so overjoyed that I get to say that it has continued. That despite best efforts of a bunch of douchebags way back when, we're still here. We have been here for so long and we remain here. So I wanted to talk about this today because I, I want kids to go out and brag to their friends about like, you know what I know, you know how old we are. I want internationally people to understand how ancient our culture is here because I also think internationally people don't know we exist, which is stupid considering the amount of time that we have existed. So I wanted this video to give people context and also a point of pride. If you are an Aussie, be so dang proud of how old our culture is here. It's so amazing that it's something that you get to be a part of and see people that still exist from that culture. It's not something you have to go and see in museums. It's not something you have to only read about in books that were written by white people anyway, so probably skewed the information. All right, um, that's where I'm going to leave off this video. Uh, if you're Australian, be dang proud. If you're international, then I hope that you learnt some stuff. And if you have any questions, or if you have any information, people you want to be on the channel, if you have, like, hey, Lara, can you give me five book recommendations to learn more about you? If you have questions or anything like that, video suggestions, stuff you want to learn about, let me know. Best way is to uh, chuck it in the comments here, or if you'd prefer, you can contact me through my Instagram, which I'll put the handle here. Uh, and that way you can stay anonymous and we can keep yarning if that's what you would like. Thanks so much for coming on and learning a little bit more about us today. Uh, be nice, be kind in the comments. That's all I got. Alright, catch you in the next one. Peace out.